Hey guys, welcome back to Technical Gunny Beard and today I'm here with an AR-15 made in Germany by Oberland Arms. Yeah! Now you may ask, ARs made in Germany? Why? This one is uh, the first manufacturer ever who did it in Germany. They started in 1998 and so it happened to be that these are one of the best German AR-15s we have. Now let's take a look inside. This is a custom made AR-15. They call it the OA-15 because of Oberland Arms. And we're gonna show you around what happened to this beast and what the owner did to this. He wanted his AR as customized as he could. The AR came with two magazines. Our regular ones come with one magazine. He bought a second one with it. And as we are in Germany and we all have the European gun law, I think since September, we are just allowed to have 10 rounds magazines for long guns. Uh, long rifles and uh, 21 rounds uh, for pistols. Oland Arms did their their own magazines. You see there, uh, it's Oland Arms on it. The owner already changed this one. This is the original one from Oland Arms. Uh, the issue with that is we only can operate it as a right-handed person. You see, right-handed operating from here um, but what do you do if you are left-handed or maybe you hurt your right arm so you can have uh, you need to operate the system with both both hands way easier like that there's a flyer inside from tactical fairies Austrian girls with guns um, they shoot overland arms a lot and you should check them out they do really cool stuff um, we are in contact with them from time to time. They wear our apparel. If you want to check out techbitapparel.com or uh, DE, we do stuff like that. And we also have merchandise for girls, so please check it out. Here we have a changed um, front grip from Magpul, the standard buttstock. You can change the buttstock with a Magpul buttstock or something else. If you want to, it's up to you. The custom made shop um, makes everything possible. The standard iron sides, or should I say plastic sides, uh, from Oberland Arms are on here. This is standard with every Oberland Arms that comes to you. But you can change them into different uh, manufacturers. Um, or manufactured iron sight. So if you want one from Magpul or something else, you can have it, that's no problem. This Oberland Arms comes in olive or OD green and they have a special barrel inside it. It's the premium barrel, I guess. It's a way heavier and it's made um, from water in Germany. So here we have uh, something special. You see, we have these cutouts on the front, but not on the bottom. Why is that? Oberland Arms uh, changed these because if you're, if you're shooting on the ground, the gas mostly blows up dust and sand into your eyes. So this way, the gas is coming out at the top. We have the Geisele m -Lock hand grip on here. I think it's made of aluminum, so it's very light. You see, it's no problem to operate this thing, even with one hand. Not very hairy and not very heavy, so pretty cool. And um, we have a special trigger in here. It's a trigger tech sport trigger, and it's uh, its pulling weight is about 1.4 kilograms. I don't know how many pounds this is so I'll check it out later. 
we show you the trigger from two, uh, trigger tag. Pretty smooth. This is awesome. I'll show it again. Yeah, that's one of the things you can change before you get the gun. So if you want a nice trigger, there's no problem for uh, overlock arms and you don't have to do it on yourself. Another special feature here um, is that you can remove this one here. So if you working with gloves or something, you can come up here, operate this thing without any problem and just close it again. To attach slings, you have many options, like this big one on the bottom here, the dots on the side, and also here. So uh, there's a lot of options you can do to attach a sling. So the dust cover looks pretty good. Um, you can change these if you want to. Um, Overland Arms also makes it possible to you uh, for you to um, have your own logo or name lasered inside it, as you see here. So how to operate these? If you've never seen um, an AR, AR before, it's a bit different from other systems. So if you want to get your bolt out, I'm gonna show you how. Oval on the arms gives you this one. It's pretty cool. So we have these two pins we can pull out. I'll press out with this. And the good thing is, you don't lose them. They're integrated here, so that's all you have to do to open it up. And then you can do this. You see the lower and the upper. Now let's take out the bolt. So here it is, that's the bolt. This system is direct impingement, so we don't have a gas piston operating here. If you don't know what this is, the gas piston normally um, works like this. If you have gas coming out the tube, it goes onto the gas piston and then, uh, then you have a gas pipe or something like that, that pulls down a spring to get to your bolt. And here on in direct impingement, it works a little bit different. You have a tube here where gas is traveling through and all this stuff is happening back here. So you have less movement at the front and more at the back. So, so you don't have that much weight in the front. One thing that's really cool is with ARs, if you put a magazine inside here, you can just pull it out like this with a button. No pedals, no something like that. This is pretty easy. And the other thing is, if you want your, uh, if you want your bolt come to the front, there's this button here. lets your bolt travel to the front again. So it's like one slap and you can operate it again. And now let's go to the shooting range and try to hit some targets on 100 meters with only iron stuff.
yeah, all in all, it's a pretty nice gun. If you want more information about Overland Arms or Tactical Ferries or Tagbit Apparel, I'll put the links into the description. Let me know if you liked it. And if you have more questions, just ask me below. See you next time. If you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram if you want to. See you next time. Till then, gunny out. As a weapon.